In the letters or the correspondence that Lewin Hook made to the Royal Society, he enclosed some of the specimens which he'd observed um, through his microscope. Amazingly, nobody in the Royal Society actually opened these uh, envelopes to see what the specimens contained. And on Lewin Hook's death, his collection of microscopes that he also passed on to the Royal Society uh, were not used um, to look at the specimens. Partly that's because it required a lot of expertise to really get the most out of these very simple microscopes. But recently, Brian Ford undertook a study to see um, what, what, what was actually contained in the letters. And he was amazed to find when he opened these envelopes, these beautifully fine shavings of cork that had been made with a, a, a cutthroat razor that was um, very, very sharp. And Lewin Hook must have been very accomplished to be able to cut incredibly fine sections um, by hand from the cork because the material has to be very thin for the light to be able to pass through it. And not only was there cork, but there was also other plant specimens, that um, sections that have survived several hundred years just in a storeroom. And Brian Ford was able to put these onto Lewin Hook's microscopes and observe through them to see what Lewin Hook should have been able to see and then take those same specimens and look through modern microscopes as well as electron microscopes and look under much higher magnification. One of the really exciting things was on a piece of pith which were these polygonal cells which appear to be um, sort of empty and stacked together like soap bubbles. Um, there was a little black spot sitting in one of the cells and he thought, I wonder what that is. And when you look at it under higher magnification uh, and higher magnification, suddenly you can see that this little black spot actually is a cell. And surrounding that little black spot were even tinier spots that are only visible once you reach um, very high magnification. And the smaller spots were actually bacteria. So it's thought that in the preparation of this cork specimen, or the, the pith specimen, um, that whoever it was that cut them was suffering from a cold at the time and sneezed, and um, cells in the sneeze um, were deposited onto the specimen, so that were blood cells as well as the bacterial um, cells that were contained in the, in the person who was cutting the section.